Good morning, Year One. I hope that you're doing well, and I hope that you're enjoying Book Week so far. Now, I'm really excited because today it was my day to choose a book. Now, today's theme is all about pirates. Our story for today is called No Pirates Allowed. Just like we did on Monday, I'd like you to take a moment to have a look at the cover of this book. Have a look at the title, No Pirates Allowed. What does that mean? Have a look at the pictures as well. Where is the pirate today? What do you think he might be doing? If you need to, hit pause, take a moment, and discuss with the adult that's helping you what you think is going to happen in the story. Okay, let's get to it. No Pirates Allowed. The author of this story is Rhonda Gowler Green. So that means that she's the one who wrote the story. She's the one who had all the great ideas. And the illustrator, so the person who drew all the pictures, is Brian Ahar. Let's have a look together, shall we? At Sea Breezy Library, things were just right. Book lovers were cozy. The sky was blue bright. When shiver me timbers through Seabury's door, stormed big pirate Pete and his parrot Igor. Where be the treasure? X marks the spot. We'll dig up the loot and steal all that they've got. Squawk! Igor squawked as Pete muttered an R. Then Big Pete let loose with a scary, So there! Sometimes it's really fun to have a go at trying to talk like a pirate. Later on today when we do our Zoom call, maybe you'll have a chance to practice your pirate talk with your teacher. Chills ran down spines as those readers all shook. They hid behind bookshelves but ventured a look. And what was that odor? Disgusting P.U. But no one at Sea Breezy knew what to do. Except Library Lou who dashed over to see what all the unruly commotion could be. May I help you? Lou asked, with a pinch of a frown. This is a library. Shh, quiet down. Arr, Big Pete thundered. Don't waste my day. Walk the plank, saucy lass, or show me the way. At Sea Breezy, then, you could hear a pin drop. All that tough ruffian and squawk stopped. For Library Lou looked Pete right in the eye as Pete stood his ground with a snarl. Oh my! Minute by minute, their tempers both flared as they stood head to head and dodgily dared. Unless you be quiet and listen up too, no pirates allowed, said Library Lou. Squawk! Igor squawked with a blow-me-down glare. Then Library Lou boldly added, So there! Arr. Now where is the treasure map? Lou asked. Ah, yes. The treasure is here, she said, just as I guessed. I'll help you find it. But first I must ask, of you and your matey, a wee smallish task. Go home, take a bath, change your underwear too. Then come back tomorrow, said Library Lou. Arr! A landlubber telling Big Pete what to do? But she said, there be treasure. Sink me, tis true. So that night Pete scrubbed thirteen layers of dirt and decided clean underwear couldn't hurt. Squawking Igor got a good scrubbing too. Squish through the sea sailed their funky P.U. Then later they dreamed of a treasure or two. Squawk! The next day they burst through the library door with a fresh soapy scent but as loud as before. Mateys, your manners, said Library Lou. Now come, follow me. We have much work to do. Aye. 
Big Pete grabbed his picks and his axe and his shovel. But Library Lou said, don't go to the trouble. But Lassie, the loot, Lou said, not yet. First, say ahoy to these letters, this fine alphabet. Letters? Pete scowled. There be more than X? Lou spread them all out. Big Pete looked perplexed. Blimey, cried Big Pete. A code of old. A secret one, I to find the sweet gold. Library Glue <laughs> grinned a witty wise grin. Brilliant, she cried. Now time to begin. Here they are, all of them. Pleased to meet you. Isn't this fun, said Library Lou. Fun, Big Pete sneered. It be torture, no less. Me'd rather be kissing a fat treasure chest. So many letters, Big Pete got confused. Wha, ha, s, and quiss. Some she called vowels. A, e, i, o, and a. Soon, Lou took some letters and mixed them about. Look, she exclaimed, words to sound out. Now here is a stack you may take home with you. Then come back tomorrow, said Library Lou. It looks like Library Lou is giving Big Pete some homework. Up on the poop deck, Pete pr practiced the night. He practiced each word till he got each word right. Igor, he bragged, will hold riches untold. Cause, cause us, we be hard working gluttons for gold. Yes, day after day, he went back. And night after night, Lou piled high a new stack. Soon, Big Pete was reading not small words, but big. But Pete got impatient. He'd work day and night and still not a trinket of treasure in sight. One day he barked at Lou. Do what ye told. Ye said ye'd be helping me find that sweet gold. Correct, answered Lou. In a book there's a clue. I've given my help. It's now up to you. Pete stared at those books lined up shelf after shelf. A code, a clue. Arr! Me find him meself. Maybe, just maybe, the code be in rhyme. He loved Mother Goose, Dr. Seuss, how sublime. They tickled his fancy, but no secret code. Alas, easy readers, he snatched frog and toad. Day after day after day, he went back. And night after night, he piled high a new stack. He found books called classics, great tales of the sea. Blimey, cried Big Pete. That's where the clue be. Treasure Island, me like it. But no clue to be found. Stumped, Big Pete scoured each shelf up and down. Gangway, the nonfiction. There's where she be. Soon luscious loot, fancy free on the sea. Those factual books Big Pete came to love. He read about things that he'd never heard of. Stink bugs and baseball and surfing and Mars. Dinosaurs, mummies, electric guitars. Pete picks up his axe and shovels got dusty. At pirate ways, Big Pete got a mite rusty. Now, Pete wasn't a pirate just dreaming of loot, but a reader he was, and a good one to boot. When one book was finished, yes, when one was done, Pete picked up another. Well, reading was fun. He read and he read and he read and he read. Then suddenly one night, Pete popped up in bed. The next day, at Sea Breezy Library, 
things were just right. Book lovers were cozy, the sky was blue bright. When Big Pete and Igor tiptoed through the door and spied Library Lou in aisle 404, they both gave her hugs, each a kiss too. We've come to thank ye, Miss Library Lou. Cause of ye, now we know. Books be the treasure. Shucks, whispered Lou. It's been my pleasure. Now, Library Lou, with a smile, big and proud, is hanging a sign that says, Pirates Allowed.